on. You're building a wall. Mm. Damn. I am petrified. Mm. Who am I? You do have a pattern of being afraid of me. Um, Justifiably so. When a woman is so cold and you're not sure if her heart beats, I think that's something to be feared. Okay. Well, I'm not crazy. <laughs> I'm justified. Another day in the Big Brother 24 house, which on a game level, there's still not a whole lot to talk about. I feel like... Michael's HOH week is going to be pretty by the numbers, maybe even if he backdoors Turner or something, which I doubt, or even Monty, which I doubt. It's not going to be the most exciting week, but we'll talk about a few things here. The main thing going on in the house has been Monty and Terrence having some ranting and raving to each other over the past 24 hours, and some of it is right. I've talked about before how... Terrence wants to go to the jury and basically uh, talk about Michael's game and bury Michael's game with the jury because Michael played very dirty. I do wish they would uh, include Brittany more in on that because Brittany was also doing all of this alongside with Michael. They did, however, talk about how Brittany has basically been playing for second with Michael and how she seems content with playing for second. So I don't think that will be respected by the jury because yesterday I was talking about the fear that if Michael and Brittany get to the end together and then they just vote for Brittany to win because of a bitter jury would be annoying to say the least because Brittany would not deserve it at all in any way, shape, or form. Now another thing of Monty and Terrence is of course ranting about Taylor and Monty made some decent points, sometimes good points about Taylor on a game level. But when they start getting personal with Taylor, you know, that's when it always gets annoying. And that is why Monty does come off to a lot of people like he is upset that <laughs> Taylor and Joseph got close or whatever. You know, I didn't get into these stan wars of the showmances that weren't even real but that's a whole thing on social media between joseph and taylor and monty does come off weird about it and talking about how taylor is cold and how she doesn't open up to people and kind of regressing back to his week one form about how taylor does rub people the wrong way but the fact is that if Monty is feeling some type of way about Taylor because he can't make advances with her or he thinks that he was going to be able to flirt with her once Joseph left and get her away from Michael and Brittany, it's annoying because Monty in the first week was the one ranting and raving about how production wants Taylor and him to be a showman and he wants no part of it. And now how can he act like he should be able to flirt with Taylor and get his way when this is the way he started the game? These people are just dumb is really what it comes down to. That's why the gameplay this season has been so low level is because they casted a bunch of dumb players who basically are easily influenced. We've seen it all season long how easily influenced these people are as players and we should be not surprised that they have all regressed at some point back to their original form over the first two weeks when we hated them all. That's why postseason, I will not defend anyone except Taylor. I will not defend Joseph either. I mean, I liked Joseph's game, but I won't defend him. I probably won't give a lot of the women too much crap. I gave a lot of them women crap during the season. In the postseason, the only woman I will give crap to, like I talked about the last couple videos, is Brittany, because she deserves the most of it. But on a game level, Monty made some decent points regarding Taylor and how she being a third with a duo isn't that smart on a game level, and it's not the smartest thing on a game level. You should have saw it as clear as day. Once he decided to use the veto on Brittany instead of her, to me, that was, like, with everything that just went down, you mean that you've been on the block four times, this is your fourth time on the block, going into an eviction night. Brittany hasn't seen the block on an eviction night. Michael was willing to risk his relationship with Taylor, to pull down Brittany, because 
because that's how much he wanted to protect her. Wow. As opposed to Taylor. But for Taylor, it makes sense for now. It, it's just the, the hard part in that she can't go to the final three with those two because they will not take her to the end. But for now, they are numbers for her. It makes sense for her game for now, but the problem always becomes, for everyone in the house now, is when is Michael going to get out of this game? How are they going to get Michael out of this game? Can they ever beat Michael in two competitions in the same round to get him out? I guess that's what we're going to find out. They, With the double coming, I mean, there is a shot to take that shot at Michael, but they have to beat him in the veto, or... It's not happening. I am glad that Taylor is finally fed up with Terrence because he has been so bad to her in this game and just stupid in general. You want to hug me? Man, you'll get the fuck out of my face. Only child. One, two. Never had no real friends. The, the little friends that she do claim or they are manufacture for the little bit of attention that you get here you, you hold on to it but dear life Terrence here showing that his social game is bad because he wouldn't even hug Taylor after the veto ceremony but hugged everybody else but also alluding his illusion makes no sense saying that Taylor's an only child so she needs attention and this coming from an only child I'm an only child it's actually the opposite only children hate attention. We are used to being alone. And then him also saying that Taylor doesn't have friends or real friends on the outside, I guess, because she's a pageant queen. Who knows what he's alluding to? Again, examples of poor gameplay because a lot of these people never even tried to get to know her. And this is the same man who last week wanted to protect the racist and keep him in the game because maybe he would grow as a person if they kept him in the game over taylor terrence is such a fucking idiot nothing that man has done has made any sense this season if we were to really analyze his game he would be at the bottom with Brittany and Alyssa probably because of how poorly he's played this game on a social level the bad rat game ratting out people loyal to him while being or trying to work with people who are voting against him when he's on the block it has made zero sense one uh, just another reason why this cast has been dumb it just makes no sense what so many of them have done in this game and then to have that reaction not hug me not talk to me yeah all right, go for it. And actively seek out the only other black person who's a man to talk about all of this and not have a conversation with me. So, fuck you. That's where I'm at. So I am happy that uh, Taylor is finally just washing her hands of him because it's uh, about time. She's been right to be targeting him for weeks now for her own personal game like I talked about yesterday. But Terrence's idea of going to the jury to uh, turn it against Michael, which he has said to Michael's face, that's going to be the big thing in jury to see how Terrence does with that. And with Kyle there, I mean, I guess we'll have to see the reaction to what Kyle actually tells Joseph about the situation. Monty was making good points before Kyle was evicted that it's not like Kyle can go to the jury and lie about the bullshit he was doing in the game because people are going to follow him to jury and tell the truth. But I'm sure Terrence will play a big part of that in trying to rightfully, honestly, make it seem that Michael was a big part of the problem as well for going along with Kyle's plans in the first place. But outside of that, I mean, there's not a whole lot more going on. You know, Brittany and Michael see that Alyssa's trying to become the new Monty with them and be the person to work with them and Taylor and maybe go to Final Four, which probably betters Michael and Brittany's games because Alyssa's probably slightly more beatable than Monty. I mean, but Michael, as I, I showed in yesterday's video, beats everyone in competition. So, like... <laughs> 
I, I don't know if it matters who Michael goes to the Final Four with. If he gets to the Final Four, his shot at winning the game, or at least getting to the Final Two is big. His shot at winning could be bad because of the uh, the possible bitter jury. It's just, you know, if he could get to the end with Brittany, is the jury bitter enough to give the win to Brittany, who's been playing for second this whole time? I mean, I wouldn't be surprised. That would be a, a poor end to this uh, poor season.